Hi everyone, I'm Jessica Falborn. I'm the senior advisor for the public affairs team at the National Restaurant Association. So work closely with our chief lobbyist, Cicely Simpson, who oversees the public affairs arm at NRA. Um, prior to coming to the National Restaurant Association, I spent time in the media world <clears throat> launching um, a national journal, a premium um, best practice research product, and at the Hill newspaper, launching their first premium digital news subscription product, uh, and focused on serving the association community. Uh, prior to that, I was at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, where I managed their state and local chamber memberships, as well as their association memberships. Um, so, spent some time both on the association world and on the vendor side. I'm happy to be back on the association side now. Um, so, one trend or one direction that I do see the association industry really moving in um, is providing additional resources to their membership um, that may not be accessible elsewhere in the vein of uh, additional revenue streams for associations. Um, I constantly opine about associations that are constantly innovating, finding new ways to be competitive, new revenue streams, and having more of a business mindset. Um, and so constantly understanding what your membership needs outside of a typical association membership is one way to uh, not only find additional revenue dollars, but also be a new type of resource for not only your current members, but perhaps new members in the market that you haven't yet captured on. An example would be uh, recently President Trump signed an executive order um, allowing groups or business businesses to band or join together across state lines um, under the umbrella of an association to access uh, health, health insurance known as uh, health, uh, association health plans. The National Restaurant Association um, has been a, a sort of a trailblazer in this space providing health insurance. Um, to our members for the past few years. Um, and now this is, is formalized under an executive order. So it gives associations the opportunity to, again, provide health insurance to their members um, at a time when we know it's become increasingly difficult for small businesses to access affordable health insurance. Um, but also, again, identify an additional revenue stream, which could not only increase membership dollars as potentially new members um, are uncovered that want access to this new benefit, um, but also identifying if charging for that health insurance is something that, um, that makes sense as it's an additional benefit that had not previously been provided. Um, this also interestingly brings up the question of if new associations will be created just so organizations can access uh, health insurance like this. So. Those are my thoughts on what's coming next in the association industry, and uh, thanks for your time.